Well, here's the thing. I like peanuts. But every time I eat peanuts, I always feel guilty. Because <coughs> then I think that at some point, their shells will end up buried in some compound somewhere. So then, I did a research trying to find what active compounds that are contained in these peanut shells that might help me, might even lessen my guilt for eating peanuts and throwing away their shells. And this is what I found, that peanut shells contain a compound called phytic acid. And what phytic acid is, it is that it is the main storage for phosphating plants and that it acts as a chelating agent and reduces the material's bioavailability, which means they absorb metal. Hi, my name is Mariska Grace from Chittahati Christian Senior School, and this is my research entitled The Novel Approach in Using Peanut Shells to Eliminate Copper Content in Water. My problem statement is, is that I want this project to be able to introduce a cheaper alternative to carbon absorption by using peanut shells. And the research questions which I have adapted for the experiment is that how will the presence of peanut shells affect the number of copper ions in the solution, and whether if it is possible to replace the role of activated carbon in sewage treatment with peanut shells. Now I'll move on to my experiment methodology. So first of all, I prepared my copper solution. So what I did was that I mixed 323.2 milligrams of hydrated copper sulfate with one liter of distilled water in order for me to be able to prepare a 100 ppm solution. Next, I prepared my peanut shells. This is the final picture of what my peanut shells would look like when used in experiment. So what I did was that I bought a bunch of peanut shells, and then I blended them, and I dried them in an oven under, under the temperature of 115 degrees. And what I did was that then I sieved them in order to obtain equally sized particles. Next, I distributed my samples. So inside this one iron wire, uh, which is basically one sample, there is the copper solution, and also there are the peanut shells. And I also wanted to see the proper ratio of peanut shells with copper solution. So what I did was that I tested a bunch of masses, which is 0.1 grams, 0.3 grams, and 0.5 grams. I waited for a designated amount of time, which means that because I also wanted to see the progression of copper ions, when peanut shells are added to it, I decided to test to in a variety of time, which is in the first hour, in the second hour, and the third hour. And after I've waited for a designated amount of time, and then, then I analyzed my samples, in which I used a photospectrometer. Now this is a picture of the inside of the photospectrometer, and as you can see here, there are the brown, um, the, the square test tubes, which are called covettes. And inside those covettes are the samples, which I have prepared earlier. And so from my analysis, I obtained the following results. As you can see here, it is a downward sloping graph, which means that it is a decreasing graph and not an increasing graph. So there are three types of graphs here, which is the blue graph, the red graph, and the green graph. And what the blue graph represents, it, it, is it, it, that it, it, it represents 0.1 grams, and the red one represents 0.3 grams, and the green one represents 0.5 grams. Let us observe the blue graph. In the first hour alone, it decreased by over 60% from its initial concentration of 94 ppm. And for the red and green graphs, it decreased by 70% from its initial concentration from 94 ppm. And so from all of my results, I obtained the following conclusion. My conclusion is that the number of copper ions in the solution decreased after peanut shells have been added to it. And that it is very likely that peanut shells can replace the role of activated carbon in the process of sewage treatment as they are very effective cheap, and is basically considered as waste materials. Now, you might think, wait, well, we know that it decreased, but why did, why did it decrease? Well, remember phenic acid? Phenic acid acts as a chelating agent. What a chelating agent means is that 
you see that um, red spot there? It is ready to react with any ions, and then when it comes across any ions, the ions will then fill that blank gap and react. So the reaction that happens inside the system is that it is IP6 plus CO2 plus. And real life application in which this will be tested in real conditions. So because I all, um, this will be tested in real conditions. So then I put my research in AIMS into the fact that pop ones are being, pop one waterways are being contaminated by Freeport McMoran and their irresponsible dumping. This is a picture of the Oke Tedi River located in West Papua, Indonesia. It is severely polluted with copper tailings and is very not healthy. But the sad thing here is that the people of Papua still try to live off this river. Well, if they do try to live off this river, they will get copper poisoning. And copper poisoning is not healthy and might cause them death. So what I want to do is that I want to add peanut shells and implement it to clean these waterways and that it will result in something good. It's easy, it's effective, it's everywhere, and it's peanut shells. Thank you.